rap man. Let's go. Uh, the first software I ever worked on. Today is not a software that is relevant. Yeah, but I, I keep telling people that only if people could see what I did then with those softwares, you would be so amazed. Yeah, because some of the things that I do now with Photoshop, people actually feel, oh, is that that? that? But I keep going like, come, I've used softwares that are worse. If you still check your computer, it comes with, it's a free software, it comes with every system. Um, it's called Microsoft Paint. And yeah, that was what I started with, where you don't have all the blurs and all the effects and all those stuff, you know. But yet, I had the same image, you know, that level of detail I, I want to achieve on Photoshop. I still had that same thing, you know, while I was using the Microsoft Paint. So, um, I, till now, I still tell people that it's really not about the software, it's about the man behind the software, you know. So, what you achieve with the software is you, is not the software. Because I've seen people who have experimented, who have done things beyond what the software is even designed to do. You know, so it's all about aspiring, you know. I think um, time changes. What used to inspire me way back, I think is a lot different from what inspires me now. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, when we were back in school, what used to inspire me was to be um, the best artist in the world yeah um, I was a painting student and I had mad love for painting yeah and I would go to any length to experiment and try all sorts with painting you know but now um, we have a whole lot of things that inspire us money is a major thing that inspires right now um, then also the arts thing you know that spirit that we've had from way back that desire to want to achieve that that perfect piece i think there's something about art that makes an artist i don't know maybe people actually get that from other careers yeah but in art when you get that piece that you're looking for there's a satisfaction that comes you can sit down there and stare at that thing for so long and you feel like yeah that's what i'm talking about Sometimes I get to feel probably I'm not supposed to be a producer. I'm supposed to be a fan. Because sometimes the way I observe some things and I appreciate some things, well, it doesn't always come that way with my works all the time. Yeah, there are a lot of times you do things, a lot of factors, the Nigerian factor, you know, coming to play and you don't get that, that finesse that you're looking for, you know, but the society embraces functionality. <laughs> Beautiful life you gave me when you came into my world It was so cool Entertainment industry Okay, um, the story began I was in school Fine at Lautech And um, I got a contact to Aya Nimashaun, the owner of Hip Hop World That he wanted an illustration done for him so I came down from Ogmosha to Lagos and I met with him. Um, we ended up building a good relationship and I ended up creating the Hip Hop World plaque for him, which is what you see today as Hip Hop World everywhere. Um, I think that's the first point where I somehow found myself getting into entertainment. For a while I lost connection with entertainment until I got back to Lagos and I shot a video for Earthquake, um, Enter With Your Change, the bus stop um, video, you know, then, and after that, then I was still in an advertising agency called Blue Seal Advertising.